There's a stillness that exists in a new housing ward. Soon these neighborhoods will come alive with custom homes and nightclubs, but for now, the plot should dream in anticipation, a moment of calm before the first guests arrive. Loneliness permeates the sand and the sea, the hills and the trees, and the fountains and fields alike, each impatiently waiting for the arrival of adventurers who will bring companionship to the winding streets. What's up guys, I'm Kara Star, Healer Main and Aorzean Homeowner, and Square Enix just announced the addition of 1,800 new housing plots per world across all data centers arriving in early January with patch 6.3. But you can only apply for one lottery at a time, so in this video I'm going to rank the top 18 housing plots in Final Fantasy XIV across all five housing districts to help you focus your search and win the home of your dreams. But first, if you want to see more content like this, as well as live YouTube streaming starting this upcoming week, make sure to click the subscribe button below. Unlike the housing lottery, on this channel, as long as you click, you are guaranteed to win. So let's talk about the rankings. I'll be judging the plots based on their layout, view, proximity to market boards, interaction with the environment, and anything special that they provide. I'm going to try to ignore plot dimensions as much as I can and make sure to rank plots of every acreage independent of their size, but sometimes bigger is simply better. Also, while there are some objectively bad plots in the game, comparing the best against each other is going to inherently bring bias into the equation. If you hate the cold and moody vibe of Imperium, or the sun and the sand of the mist, it won't matter to you how good the plot is, and if you don't have the gill for medium or large, those won't really apply to you either. With how scarce housing is in this game, getting an inferior plot is still better than being homeless, so don't feel bad if yours doesn't make the list. Instead, post your favorites in the comments below. Now, let's get to it. First on the list, and number 18 overall, is Plot 27 in Shiragane. Located near the center of the Kugane Housing District, Plot 27 can hold a small house with a secluded water feature. It has some drawbacks, such as proximity to a market board and overall view, but it is still unique enough to warrant inclusion on this list. Next on the list, and number 17 overall, is Plot 20 in the Goblet. While often derided as the worst of the five housing districts because of the washed-out brown color tone abundant in the plots on the exterior of the area, the plots in the center could not be more different, with crystal clear water flowing through decorative fountains and the best town square the game has to offer. The first medium to make the list, Plot 6 in the Mist comes in at number 16 and features a semi-oceanfront view and terrific proximity to the market board. Just like in real life, land is more desirable the closer you are to the water, and it's hard to beat being able to walk out your front door and right down onto the pier. Plot 16 also has a centered entrance, which not only looks better than an off-center entrance due to the beauty of symmetry, but saves you precious outdoor decorating slots by allowing you to build a more direct path from the gate to the front door. Returning to Uldah, number 15 on this list is, in fact, Plot 15 in the Goblet. Although it only houses a small home, Plot 15 takes the utilization of the public square that Plot 20 had and elevates it, both figuratively and literally. Plot 15 perfects the balance between privacy and neighborhood engagement, allowing you to interact with the public space and your neighbors without your front door opening into the side of their house. Next is a medium plot in the newest housing district in Final Fantasy XIV, Imperium. Plot 26, coming in at number 14, has a center entrance, great proximity to the market board, and also opens well to the public space. Its only real drawback is that it is slightly hidden behind the stairs and a massive retaining wall. Robert Frost may have said good fences make good neighbors, but that's a garbage approach to urban design. Number 13 on the list is a hard one, because really any of plot 19, 20, or 21 could take the spot. These three beachfront cottages are all perfectly located to walk out your front door to the sea in the sand, but since 19 is directly next to the market board and the highest in elevation, it takes the spot on this list. This plot is ideal for your beach house RP and is just begging for bikinis and lounge chairs on the front lawn. It's also notable that all of these houses actually face the beach, making each of them vastly superior to the beachfront homes in Shiragane, which shockingly do not. Why in the world would you have a waterfront view and then not have your house face the water? 
The first large plot on this list, at number 12, Imperium Plot 30 is located near the rear of the district and is at first glance a pretty normal large plot. But while it's relatively standard, its basement area is anything but. Immediately to the right of Plot 30 is a terrific heated public bath. If you don't want the snow and cold to stop you from showing off your swimwear, or you want to celebrate the holidays with your whole FC in the tub together, Plot 30 is perfect for you. Water features are a constant on this list because of the beauty and life they add to the scenery around the plots, and plot 14 at the Goblet is no exception, coming in at number 11. Not only do you get the same terrific access to the public square as the previous two Goblet Smalls on this list, but you also get a centered entrance and your own waterfall in your backyard. Even though it's a small, in my opinion, this is hands down the best house the Goblet has to offer. Breaking into the top 10 is plot 11 in Imperium. With a market board directly up the stairs, the perfect blend of privacy and urbanism, and a public park immediately outside your front door, this is one of the best small plots in the game and a well-deserved top 10 overall. Equally as important, it's also my plot, and the only way I would ever move would be if I had the chance to upgrade to a plot further up on this list. Number 9 on the list is Plot 15 in the Mist, a large, nestled in the mountains of Limsa Liminza, with good market board proximity and a terrific amount of open space on either side. Although far from the water, with Plot 15 you trade location for open spaces on either side and one of the best views in the entire game. The original plot I tried to win when Ishgardian Housing was first released, Plot 18 in Imperium is terrifically located with a centered entrance and a market board directly across, taking the number 8 spot in the rankings. This stretch of housing in Imperium is essentially the Mansion District, with a collection of medium and large plots that overlook the neighborhood and beyond. Next is a terrific large in Shiragane, plot 16, coming in at number 7. Although it is the same size as every other large, it presents itself as twice as grand because of the open space on either side. To the left is a unique bamboo forest, and to the right are deciduous trees and beautiful open spaces. This is the perfect house for both enjoyers of nature and people who feel constricted by the physical dimensions of even a large plot of land. At number 6 on this list, the uniqueness of Plot 1 makes it, in my opinion, not only the best small in Imperium, but also one of the coolest plots in the game overall. When Ishgardian Housing first released, this was hands down the most rolled on plot in the district, and everyone who won got themselves not only a unique small with outstanding market board proximity, but also tons of public walkways to adventure through. Perched above a high cliff overlooking the water, Plot 30 in Shirogane is a terrific large plot and the best that Kugani has to offer. Taking cues from a similar large in the mist, Plot 30 soars over the sea, yet also is immediately next to a well-placed market board and is well deserving of its top 5 ranking. If Stormblood is your favorite expansion, Samurai is your main, and Sadistic is how you like your favorite characters, you cannot beat this location. Plot 22 in Imperium takes everything that is great about Plot 18 and elevates it to new levels. Number 4 overall, Plot 22 features similar proximity to the market board in the Mansion District, but with its larger size and higher elevation, it lords over its competition. The backdrop is beautiful, but the view is the true selling point here, and it frankly cannot be beaten. This is without question the best plot in Ishgard, worthy of the Lord Commander himself. Amidst the parade of large plots dominating the upper end of this list comes the best small plot in the game, and the number 3 best plot period, Plot 29 in the Lavender Beds. The Lavender Beds is generally not my favorite area, and does not appear often on this list because so many of the houses have these weird side entrances and face in terrible directions, but when Gridania gets it right, they definitely get it right. You arrive at Plot 29 via a covered bridge towards your own island in the sky. The backdrop is stunning with a gorgeous private waterfall, and while market board proximity is a slight issue, the attainability of this plot versus some of the larges on this list makes up the difference. More than that, the uniqueness of this plot truly earns it its place in the top three. 
Coming in at number two, plot five in The Mist is without question both the best housing plot in Limsa Lominza and the best large plot in the game. This oceanfront property has absurdly beautiful views in multiple directions, is separate from the hustle and bustle of the neighborhood, yet still connected to it, is a quick walk to two different market boards, and even has a rock that as legend has it, only legends are worthy to stand upon. I consider myself incredibly lucky to be in an FC that owns this plot. The only reason this is not the number one plot overall is that I wish it would be either slightly rotated to better face the water, or that the house directly in front of it would be rotated to better engage the entrance. Staring into the side of someone else's home just barely knocks it from the top spot. Finally, at the very top of this list, we perhaps surprisingly return to the Lavender Beds, where there is no better plot in the game than Plot 16 in Gridania's Housing District. Yes, you have a terrific entrance condition in a district that fails to capture this with regularity. Yes, there is both immediate proximity to a market board and relative privacy, but what truly earns Plot 16 the top spot is the gorgeous open public space all around. With Plot 16, you don't feel like you own a house or a piece of land, you feel like you own the entirety of the lavender beds and all of the naturalistic beauty of Gridania that comes with it. While I love my personal home in Ishgard and always have a preference for the sun and sand of the mist, Plot 16 in the lavender beds is the defining location in Final Fantasy XIV housing. So let me know what you think of the list down in the comments. Whether you agree or disagree with all of the rankings or which plots were even included, we can all agree on the importance of clicking the subscribe button button below. I'll be making videos about healing, rating, and overviews of topics like these, and I even have a poll up right now for you to help choose the content you want to see most from this channel. As always, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the tremendous support everyone has given me. Take care.